Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, September 21st, 2023. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Well, it is another beautiful morning out there with high pressure and control. Temperatures range from the mid to upper 40s over the far northern interior, lower to mid 50s in your suburbs, mid to upper 50s along the coast, and upper 50s to lower 60s in your urban areas. Winds are from the north-northwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. We take a look at our surface map and radar from weather tap. You can see high pressures and control. Pretty quiet day out there. And on the visible satellite picture as the sun is rising, we have some low clouds here in some of the valleys, but that will give way, and we just have a few high cirrus clouds, and that is about it. But something is brewing to the south. We'll take a look at the infrared satellite picture, and you can see trouble brewing down here towards the southeast coast. And this is part of what we call the subtropical jet stream. Now, the subtropical jet stream becomes more active during El Nino year, so get used to this feature type of situation throughout the fall and winter. So we have an area of low pressure starting to get organized and it could actually pick up some tropical characteristics but that's not the main story in this forecast because as the slow lifts northward it will transition back to tropical so the structure isn't that big of a deal for our area it could be more of an issue down towards south carolina north carolina as the storm lifts northward but for us, what we're going to be watching for is what's called a jet streak that comes in at 850 millibars from the Atlantic right into the Jersey Shore. And what that basically means for you is a lot of rain and windy conditions on Saturday and not really getting all that much better on Sunday either with pesky showers. So it looks like this feature down here is going to lead to a very soggy weekend for the northern Atlantic. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Look for scattered cloud cover, beautiful conditions with high temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior and along the coast, lower to mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. For tonight into tomorrow morning, high pressure starts to shift towards the Gulf of Maine. Look for scattered cloud cover with winds back into the northeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Look for Low temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 40s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. On Friday afternoon, look for increasing cloud cover with winds coming in from the northeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour at times, gusting up to 25 miles per hour. Look for high temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior and along the coast, lower to mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. On Friday night, our storm lifts northward, and by Saturday morning, very heavy rainfall will be developing throughout the region. The heaviest rainfall will be experienced along the coast with winds from the northeast along the coast around 10 to 20 miles per hour, at times gusting up to 40 miles per hour. The heavy rain, the strong winds is going to lead to poor driving conditions, the potential for localized flash flooding and urban flooding, and also power outages. So not the best day for outdoor activities on Saturday, that is for sure. Temperatures on Saturday range from the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, and high temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. As the storm lifts northward, it will become what we call vertically stacked, and by Saturday night into Sunday, the storm will start to weaken while lifting up through the Delmarva Peninsula and possibly through the Delaware River Valley or could track right along the immediate Jersey Shore. There is some differences on that. As far as weather impacts, it's going to remain the same. If this was winter, we'd have a lot more discussion about this because that would impact your rain snow line. But in this case, it's just all rain. And as the low lifts northward, it will weaken because it's becoming vertically stacked. So the rain shield will become more scattered. So Saturday is more of a driving rain for everybody. Sunday is more of scattered showers becoming more widely scattered as you go on through the day but still a raw day with a northeasterly wind back into the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures are going to range from the mid to upper 40s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s in your suburbs, and mid to upper 50s in your urban areas. High temperatures won't be rising all that much. Looking for highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast and over the interior, mid to upper 60s in your urban areas and basically around the I-95 corridor. That storm will slowly pull away, and I'm thinking 
Monday, I think this is going to end up clearing out a little bit faster than what the guidance is showing here. I think this high pressure system is going to be building further south faster. So the way I see this is a few lingering showers early Monday morning and then clearing out as you go on through the day on Monday with temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast, high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the interior and along the coast, mid to upper 70s in the Delaware River Valley. We'll keep an eye on the progression of this low pressure system, but typically the models during this time period kind of lingers these storms a little bit too long. So I like the idea of clearing out faster. On Tuesday, high pressure will be in control with clear skies to sky cloud cover. And really that's going to remain the case all the way through Thursday with Canadian high pressure and control low humidity very comfortable temperatures look for temperatures over the interior to range from the mid to upper 40s for lows and upper 60s should i say mid 60s to lower 70s for highs along the coast look for low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 50s and upper 60s to lower 70s for highs and in the delaware river valley look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s and high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s for highs that is your forecast discussion for today have a wonderful day and as always stay safe out there